In this video, I'll be making a storm glass. This is a historical device invented in the 18th century to predict the weather. Depending on how the crystals organize themselves, supposedly it could tell you several days in advance if a storm was coming. It was first documented by Admiral Fitzroy of the HMS Beagle, the ship that transported Darwin around the world. In reality, the crystal formation only changes as a result of temperature, so a storm glass's prediction abilities are suspect at best. But it's a cool piece of history, and very beautiful. I've showed how to make these before in a mason jar, but I wanted a storm glass that was larger, and in a nicer bottle so it would look good on my desk. My earlier video goes into a little more detail than I will here, so check that out also if you'd like to make one yourself. The three solid ingredients that are needed are camphor, potassium nitrate, and ammonium chloride. The liquid solvent is 100 proof vodka, which is 50% ethanol by volume. 900 milliliters of vodka is added to a saucepan, followed by three packets of camphor, totaling 85 grams. 30 grams each of both the ammonium chloride and the potassium nitrate are also added into the mix, and then heated until fully dissolved. A lid should be kept on the pot so that during this process, not very much alcohol will evaporate away. Meanwhile, I found this 750 milliliter bottle, which should work perfectly as the final container for my storm glass. In about 10 minutes, all the ingredients are dissolved, so I can add a funnel to the bottle and slowly pour in my mixture. You may notice that the liquids separate into multiple layers. This is okay, it will still work fine. As the bottle cools, the storm glass puts on quite a show. Fog slowly rises from the bottom, followed by snow until it looks like a complete blizzard. You can see how someone might come to believe that this display is reflective of the weather outside. Now if the storm glass is left in an environment where the temperature can rise and fall, like outdoors or on a windowsill, the crystals will reshape themselves into all sorts of different patterns over time. This reshaping is a slower process than when the bottle first cools down, but if you'd like to see the rapid crystallization all over again, you can always reheat the bottle in some warm water with a piece of foil over the top. The heat causes everything to dissolve, and it will start reforming as soon as it's pulled out. If you like seeing videos like this, please support my channel on Patreon. All the contributions go toward making my videos better and in purchasing the supplies required to make them. Thank you to everyone who already supports my channel, and thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.